Hey, everybody, it's the Drive School Podcast. I am Pastor Goodman. My my buddy, Pastor Marsh Schomberger, is here with us. How's it going, man? Good. How you doing? I'm doing okay. We're on the other side of Easter. We made it. Life's uh, resurrected. No problems. No, <laughs> no more it's problems good. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> Like you said before, when we were talking, these are good problems, right? These are good problems. They're good I love problems. that. Yeah. So uh, whenever we hang out here, uh, we, we do wrong questions only, which is which is fun for me uh, because they're the questions that you get asked in all earnestness. But like, if it's the wrong question, you're never actually going to get the right answer. So um, it, it lets us sort of address where it's coming from and then shift gears and maybe even find the right question for it. So um, wrong question. Uh, can I take communion too much, Pastor? Yeah, well, um, again, I you know I keep saying with these kinds of questions, I we all understand the questions and why we ask the questions because we're all again in sinful flesh, and we're always going to take what the Lord gives us as a gift and turn it into something that we do. A and burden. So then, when we do that, uh, or by doing that, then we have to start asking. Things like, well, how am I doing with this? How much did I really mean that? And then we start adding, you know, adverbs to did I truly, sincerely, absolutely mean it when I went and received that sacrament? So with that, what usually happens is we answer, You'll hear the argument sometimes, well, we don't want to go to the Lord's Supper too much because then it ceases being special. I don't have you've heard that. I've heard that. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you have. Uh, it's that's usually kind of the biggest argument, right? Right. Um, it's like, well, if we if we if we go to the Lord's Supper often, which by the way is what Jesus says, this do as, <laughs> as often as you do it. I guess I know where you my fall. remembrance. <laughs> but that's okay. In spite of what Jesus actually gives us with this, Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to do this, right? We laugh at it because that's, we think that way. Um, And so when we're thinking of it as something we do, then of course, a question like, well, it ceases to become, or a thought like it ceases to become special, uh, we understand, right? But that's not what the sacrament is. The sacrament isn't me doing something. It's literally Jesus giving his body and blood for the forgiveness of my sin. I mean, that's what his words say. Mm -hmm. Uh, And so, uh, and I know there's more words than that, uh, but all those words are not about my doing, but they're about my receiving. Even the word take for take and receive uh, or or take, uh, take and eat. Mm-hmm. Is the word receive? Yeah, it's interchangeable. In, yeah, it's in, interchangeable. It's it's the same word. As it, in fact, it's the same word used uh, for the passage we heard last Sunday, where Jesus breathed on them and said, "Receive the Holy Spirit." Exact mm-hmm. same word. So right. with that, um, the it's a wrong question in that it's asking it again in the way of the law. I'm seeing a pattern here. Uh, there's, a, there's a big pattern. Because like then then you get to sort of second guess a lot of things in, in light of the law. For for example, like, well, I'm supposed to eat food every day, but like how special does the food need to be? Because I'm supposed to be thankful for my daily bread. But what if right. I'm not thankful enough? Did I not did I not get lunch? Right. Oh, that that's a good one. <laughs> I, I mean, really, like there are yeah. gonna be meals that are super special. That like you, your anniversary meal and, and and you make the extra special effort for the extra special food. And then there's gonna be like the, the meals you eat half over the sink because you're in a hurry, but you still got fed. Like, did you receive, oh, like you said, the thing that you were supposed to receive from it? Yeah. But but like also then can I can I push on that just a little bit? Because like, well, See, I go to church, uh, depending on your, your church, your pastor might go to church more than once on a Sunday because, you know, early service, late service. I, I always took communion in every service because I managed to sin in between. I was real good at it. Um, <laughs> yeah. Y'all don't, it, do, am I supposed to go get communion every time I sin? Like, is that what you're saying? Like, if I don't, is the absolution not enough? Is the baptism not enough? Can I take things that God gives me and set them against each other so I can get out of one of them? What, where do I go with this? Right. And asking enough is sort of thinking about your and my sin in a quantity kind of way, as if it's like a number mm-hmm. of sins. We, we Again, once we start measuring, 
we're in the we're in the way of the law. Yeah. And and the the awesome thing about the gifts of the Lord about the gospel, which the sacrament is certainly the gospel. That's we want to say that clearly. Uh, it's it's Jesus' gift of His own body and blood for us, for mm-hmm. you, for the forgiveness of your sin and my sin. So with that, we we don't measure. <laughs> That's the, that's where the language of like 70 times seven, which is just some... Stop doing math language. Yeah, it's an infinite number. It's a number that we can't count. Sort of like, you know, another word that's like that in the scripture uh, where it talks about, you know, this, uh, the, the wine skins. Remember that where Jesus mm-hmm. talks about you can't uh, put new put wine into old, old wine skins mm-hmm. or it's going to break them because it overflows, it bursts. It sure. can't be contained. That's the point mm-hmm. of that. The forgiveness can't I be like contained. And so my real problem, even though I don't think it's my real problem and your real po- problem, uh, is that we are sinners. And in being sinners and being still in sinful flesh, um, we're not talking about something that's quantitative. But it's, mm-hmm. it's a quality in that sense. It's what I inherited. And so that means there's never going to be any certainty if I'm going to look at, did I do this enough or that enough or this enough? Sure. And the awesome news of the Lord's Supper uh, mm-hmm. is that it is given to us for the forgiveness of our sins, all of it. Right. So I, it, this is like my a- original sin. Right. So so it's not like a, a eight communions per eight sins or, or, or figure out a ratio. It is rather if you are a sinner and this meal is being offered, well, that's a comfort to you now. Yes. No, that's a well, different a- absolutely. That's a that's a wildly different thing. So so can I take communion too much then? Um you can make that into a law thing then, sort of by that. Like if it's if it's there, I I, I would want yep. it to to be there. And and I would certainly if there was an opportunity to have it and, and we decided not to, I would be a little miffed. But you can also again turn it into a law and say, well, if you don't have communion every single day, then oh, yeah. well then again you're 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 trying to do this in terms of I really like that quantity instead of the, the quality of sure. Well, faith in Jesus goes to Jesus. So is Jesus in the bread and wine or not? Nah? Yeah, well, he says he is, therefore he is. Because yeah, that that this is. Yeah. I mean, so he, much so he that he tells him. us. Yeah, yeah. He he gives through his word. He says what he does. Does what he says. Mm-hmm. It's so much so that like even after the words of institution, the pastor will hold up the bread and 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 the wine and say, "The peace of the Lord be with you always," because it is the body and blood of Jesus there. And so, like if you're looking for peace, it's not like in the air. It's not just in your hearts, man. It's it's in the cup. It's in the bread because Jesus is there. And so, faith in Jesus goes to Jesus. If 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 there is is right faith, and I'm not saying if you don't want communion, you, you're an unbeliever, but I'm saying that like we should we should maybe think about this. Just to, together as as those who do believe, is Jesus there, and is Jesus giving something that you you need? Right. That, well, that, and, and in that, that sense, good. is he there? Not just in the way that he's with the tree, and in the mm. way that he's in nature, which he certainly is. Right. He fills the heavens mm-hmm. and the earth. He holds all things together. But the beautiful thing uh, about the Lord's Supper and about those other places where he promises to be there is, is that he's not just there, but he's there for you. Ooh. Tell me about those two words. Cause they sound important. They're huge. And in fact, they're the words of Jesus, uh, institution of the Lord's supper, right? right. That's what, that's what we say. Uh, because that's what, I mean, that's what Jesus says. Right. So he's really the one speaking, doing, giving, and he's the gift. <laughs> but uh, but for you says that it's not just an idea. It's not something that's some abstraction. Uh, the Lord's Supper isn't a concept, but it's the body and blood there for you, for the forgiveness of your sin. And 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 faith is that which receives the the gifts and good things from God. And there we have the best thing <laughs> we can receive. Which is the Lord Jesus Himself, and we can't. We don't want to say, "Well, I I don't think I need any more Jesus today." No, thank you. That's enough Jesus things. <laughs> That's enough. Yeah, but we say, "Come, Lord Jesus, be our guest. Let Thy gifts to us be blessed." 
Yeah, it's wild how many people insist on praying that particular prayer before the potluck might not necessarily want the Lord's Supper every every right. week. That's never connected those dots, but uh, yeah. well, and and His coming again for us, right? Yeah, those are all in that prayer. So, all right, the the wrong question then is, um, can I take communion too much? What's the right question? Um, I think maybe the right question is, what would, why would the Lord have me receive his body and blood? Why go to the Lord's Supper? You know, and that's really a question that that uh, is in Christian questions and their answers that pastors should be asking their parishioners, you know, why, yeah. and teaching them what Jesus says and how he invites all of us to come and receive what he actually gives there. Right, that, he's that was, there giving the gift, and he's the gift. That was a beautiful encapsulation of our catechism. Like our small catechism tells us first, what is the sacrament of the altar, and then what is the benefit of the sacrament and altar, and then finally, right. yeah, how can eating and drinking do such great things, and who is worthy? Right. But, but, um, like even just what, what, what would Jesus want here? It, it, his word is clear. I love that. Yeah, Pastor, thanks so much. Absolutely, thanks for your time. Have a good one. All right, see ya.